downtown project today. The final concrete pour for the new Dunhumby building at 5th and Race. It's also a pretty bold statement about downtown's growth. WLWT News 5's John London is here now to help measure the impact. John? Yeah, size wise, Mike, a million square feet. You'd need 173 football fields to equal it. But here's the real measure a mere 24 hours after Sachs. Said it's staying put for now. What happens to the rest of Ray Street and how quickly is downtown's next barometer? Cincinnati's mayor marking a milestone moment. Yeah. Hey, Stuart. John, how are you? Greeting Dun Humby CEO Stuart Aitken, mindful of the decision ahead right across from today's celebratory gathering. We hope that SAC stays. Uh, we're going to see, I think, a real revitalized retail corridor here on Ray Street. And whether that includes SACS or not, it's going to be big. Ray Street has been relegated to back burner status for years, but Macy's merchant team has recommitted to the fifth and race location. The fourth and race emptiness is a work in progress, and Sachs won't be Kenwood bound, although no one knows if it'll stay put beyond 2018. Well, I think it was an incredibly smart decision for Sachs to wait it out just a little bit. Let us get in. Dun Humby plans to relocate its 1,200 workers to the beating heart of a resurgent downtown next spring. Turner Construction hoisted cement to the ninth floor a few hours ago to top off the building and signal a belief in the Ray Street remake. 3CDC says the impact of a thousand car public parking garage should not be overlooked. To have that wrapped with street level retail, it just adds um, activity to the streets, which is what you always want in an urban setting. As Dun Humby's feel good gathering played out, development experts off site were saying if Ray Street falls short of the vision, Sachs and maybe Macy's could both be at risk. Well, you know, if you think about timing, though, this is the best time to stay because it's more sure than it ever was. I mean, we know that the 300 luxury apartments will be here. We know that the banks is going to expand. The mayor expressed confidence today that should Sachs leave, another major retailer could be found to be Dunhumby's new neighbor. Retail will follow repopulation, according to the mayor. We're not going to subsidize retail, he told us. We don't need to. He believes the investment in bringing jobs downtown will drive the retail demand. Mike. All right, John, thank you. 3CDC says it is actively looking now for retail tenants for the street level section of the Dunhumby building and hopes to make announcements about those tenants sometime in the next month. 